mainly in the form of Roxasan, because by their calculations, it's cost effective. The cost of the arsenic uh, and handling it in the feed and everything else is offset by the gains of growth uh, promotion and quicker time to market uh, for the from factory farms to adjacent land. Sometimes the operators are required to take soil samples to ensure that dangerous amounts of sewage are not being applied to the land. But the industry vigorously resists efforts to independently audit, test, or monitor this critical area. I found out that they were told, well, we can tell you how to get around having a bad hot soil sample. You know, you just don't take it <laughs> at certain places. Right. And, and that's what they're trying to get away with right. today. Urban dwellers don't necessarily think about where their food comes when they go to the grocery store and don't realize that there are these industrial size operations out there that are our number one polluters of certain toxic chemicals. In my opinion, um, if you love this country, you, just don't, you don't just care about it, you care for it. And this industry doesn't, doesn't seem to. We are becoming the dumping ground for this industry despite the fact that we're supposed to be sort of this first world nation that has the top, you know, regulatory, best regulations in the, you know, in the world. It's not sustainable. What we're doing in agriculture today is not sustainable. This thing is going to break down at some point in time. 